Hey guys, what is up? Back with another video. Hope everyone is having a great day today. A couple days ago, I brought you guys my best sneakers of 2017 list. I did the top 10 sneakers that I bought and the top 10 sneakers that released. And today I sort of wanted to do the flip side of that. We're not gonna be taking a look at the top 10 worst sneakers that I've bought, but we're gonna be taking a look at the top 10 worst sneakers that have released. I really don't think I've purchased that many shoes that I regret buying this year. Maybe one or two here or there. But all in all, I feel pretty pleased with my sneaker purchases, but there have been some terrible sneakers that have released this year. So as always, if you guys enjoy the videos, make sure to smash that like button it does help out a lot follow me instagram twitter at the real railway 20 if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button but that being said i just want to preface this entire video by saying this is only my opinion i am not god i am not law just because i do not like a pair of shoes does not mean it's a bad pair of shoes it means i think it's ugly that's it it doesn't mean you have to think it's ugly it doesn't mean it's a bad pair of shoes so if i have an opinion that you disagree with trigger warning no need to freak out, you might disagree with me, but it is all good. So getting into the first pair of sneakers on the list, it is the Alexander Wang Sock on a Boost, is what I call it. I don't know what it's really called, but I call it the Sock on a Boost, because that's what it is, it's a Sock on a Boost. That is that is the most apt name for it, I feel like. These things are hideous. They're so ugly, dude. They are so... I don't even know, they, it's just, it looks like they missed half the shoe. Like they were in production and half of the factory went on strike. So they only got to make the first half of it. And they're like, oh, you know what? It's good. Someone will buy it. Let's just put it out. People will buy it. People will buy it. And then they did and they sold it for over $200. It's a very expensive shoe and people bought it. I mean, it didn't sell out instantly, but people actually purchased it. I'm really not a fan of them. Not an attractive shoe if you ask me, but that is number 10. And I should say the list is in no particular order, but moving on to number nine, it is the, and don't get mad at me, the Yeezy 700 Wave Runner. Now, I know lots of people like these, I completely get why people like them, but for me, it is such a freaking huge dad shoe. I could never wear them. I think they're hideous. I personally think they're hideous. Maybe some other colorways will sway my opinion, but the first one that came out, I cannot stand them. I do not know how I would ever wear them. I think it's a gross looking pair of sneakers and I, I, I just, I can't stand them. I'm sorry, I know it's a pair of Yeezys, so people are gonna get really mad at me. I think it's a hideous shoe. So we're gonna move on from that before too many of you guys freak out on me. On to Balenciaga's version of the Yeezy 700 Wave Runner, basically another dad shoe. These things are even worse. These make the, the Wave Runners look like the most beautiful shoe ever created because these things are hideous. I hate these things. They are so bad. I mean, like, I don't hate them fundamentally. It's just a shoe, but they're ugly. They are really, really, really ugly, and that is never something I'd spend, like, $600 on. It's an expensive pair of shoes, and they're just... I don't get this whole trend of the dad shoe thing. Like, I mean, do what you want to. I'm never going to tell you not to wear something, but for me personally, I just think that is a gross-looking shoe. That's number eight. Now, moving on to number seven. This is actually a pair of shoes that I own which I'm a little bit sad to say, but this one colorway that I do own, I love. Just every other colorway of the Ultra Boost Laceless, I have looked at and I've been like, those are disgusting. I hate this iteration of the Ultra Boost, except for this one colorway. I can't explain it. I think the white ones look amazing. I think everyone else looks just gross. I love the regular Ultra Boost, the Ultra Boost Mid, the Ultra Boost ATR, the Ultra Boost Uncaged is okay. This one, I just hate. It looks like an elf shoe, but this triple white, I think is fire. I can't explain why I like one model or one colorway of a model and hate every other colorway that I've ever seen of the model, but I do, I'm gonna keep it candid with you guys. I just, I, I don't get why they made this. Like they already had the Ultra Boost Uncaged. I guess they wanted to try and switch it up, but just stick with the regular Ultra Boost. Make fire colorways of the regular Ultra Boost. I think you'll be good. Now, number six on the list is something they actually just released recently. And I love the model in general, which is weird because most people hate the model in general, but it is the Air More Up Tempo in the Chicago version. Now, I have a pair of Air More Up Tempos. I have the white with the red air. I love the red with the white Supreme version, but those are freaking expensive. And there's a, like an off-white or bone colorway that I also really, really like. But this Chicago one, I don't know what it is because I really like red shoes. I really like the model. Just the letters look so bubbly and big. It looks like a cartoon shoe. Like it looks like a fake version of the shoe. It's just red and black and it looks like one you'd buy in Chinatown personally. And it's definitely not one of the worst ones on the list, 
but it just, it, I don't like it. It's a model that I really like and I was excited when I first saw the pictures, but as I've seen more pictures, as I've seen them in person, they just do not look good at all. Time to break some more hearts here with some more hyped up sneakers. We're going with number five being the Off-White Times Converse All-Star. Now, I'm not, now, I'm not a huge fan of the Converse All-Star to start with, so that might explain my opinion on it. I think it's a very minimalistic shoe. It's a classic shoe, obviously. There's tons of place for it, tons of room for it in the fashion world, but I'm not a big fan of it. It's just not something that I think looks good on me, not something that I would wear, and then this off-white version made it like 20 times worse. You know like when you see those skinless cats and they're just so pale that you can see through their skin, or those naked mole rats that live underground and are completely blind, and you can see through their skin into their blood vessels and stuff. That is what the Converse Off-White reminds me of. It just looks like a slimy, wet, gross, underground creature that has translucent skin. That's what it reminds me of. I don't know why. That comparison probably makes zero sense to all of you fine people out there, but that is what it reminds me of, and I just do not like them in the slightest. And then speaking of off-white shoes that I don't like in the slightest, I'm sorry to break some hearts out here again because I know people love the collection, the Air Max 97. The Air Max 97, the regular version, is a great model. I don't know why, but I can't stand the off-white version of it. They just took everything I like from the Air Max 97 and removed it from the shoe. I love the Jordan 1s, I love the Prestos, the Air Force 1s, the Air Max 90s. These are great, super well done shoes. The Vapor Max even are shoes that are done very well from the Off-White collection. But those two, the Air Max 97s and the Converse, I'm just not feeling them. Now speaking of the Vapor Max, the Vapor Max is number three on the list. Now I know this is a very revolutionary shoe. It's the first Nike shoe to cut out the midsole and just have your foot and then an air bubble right underneath. So technologically, it's a pretty cool concept. And I think they did a good job of executing the technology. Everyone that wears them tells me how comfortable they are. I have no problem with the comfort, no problem with the technology. I just have a problem with the fact that I don't like how they look. I like the upper, the flyknit upper looks good. It's sleek, it's streamlined, it's really cool looking, but that bubble on the bottom, it looks like a mouth guard. It looks like a mouth guard that you would wear while playing football or hockey, and it just, it doesn't look very attractive to me personally. Now, if you guys like it, that is completely fine. I'm not gonna judge you, but for $190, that is not cheap. I can think of better places to spend my money than the Nike Vapor Max. We've had tons of colorways of this one release this year, and I think we can all agree that this shoe is a little bit ridiculous. It's ugly, and it's overpriced, and no one really wants it anymore. It is the Nike Hyper Adapt. Now, the first couple of colorways that came out, those things sold like crazy, and there's still resale value on them, but then they released another colorway, and another colorway, and another one, and they went DJ Khaled on it. All of a sudden, there's so many many colorways and they cost $720 plus tax. Do you realize that if you live in a tax state that has a high percentage for sales taxes, you are spending over $800 on that pair of shoes. $800 on an overpriced, clunky, bulky looking dad shoe that sure it laces itself up, but at the end of the day, how hard is it to lace your own sneakers? I get it, it's not supposed to be a practical shoe, it's a tech gimmick, it's a marketing gimmick, it's innovation, it's showing what they will be able to do in five or 10 years. But the shoe as it stands for $720, the fact that it weighs like two and a half pounds, it's a brick, it looks clunky, it looks like a futuristic air monarch, not a fan of them. I just had to put them at number two on the list. Okay, number one, I wanna get up close and personal for this because this one is bad. Now, the other ones weren't really ranked. Those weren't in a particular order. Those are just nine shoes that I did not think turned out very well. Nine shoes that I would never wear. This one has to be number one. This one has to be number one. It is far and above the worst shoe to come out this year. In fact, it may be the worst shoe to come out all time, ever. Like sandals in the caveman era. Are, are way better than these. These things are terrible. It is the Air Force One Special Forces, the new version, that doesn't have any of the, the nice features of the first version. It just has these snake-like laces that wrap around, and it just keeps on going up and up and up and up and up your leg, and it's bright orange. Why is it bright orange, Nike? Why is it bright orange? This colorway is the worst thing I've ever seen. The silhouette is the second worst thing I've ever seen, and it costs like $170. I don't get it. We saw someone wearing these in Berlin when I was in Berlin. We were in the middle of a conversation, sitting on the train, and we both just stopped and looked out the window and we're like, what is he wearing? We weren't talking about shoes, we weren't even looking out the window, but they were so bright and they were so gaudy and they were so ugly and they were so hideous 
that this dude wearing them on the platform in the train station in Berlin, we both stopped our conversation to look at these shoes. That's how bad they looked. That is by far the ugliest sneaker that is released in 2017. Keep in mind, this is all just my opinion. So if you disagree with me, that is completely fine. Let me know your personal picks down in the comment section below. Let me know if I've incredibly offended you. If I have, I apologize. It's all fun, it's all shoes. If you're getting upset over shoes, at the end of the day, you have bigger things to sort out in your life, my friend. That being said, love you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Snups. I guess you could follow me on Patreon as well if you want to pledge on Patreon. You people that already do, you are the best. Link down in the description for all that good stuff. That being said, I will see you guys tomorrow.